Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and today I have something special to share with you guys. I've got Doom 2016 running on Ubuntu 16.04 here through Wine. Now a big thanks to Oleg Shuchilov, I hope I'm saying his name correctly, for the Bcrypt patch that allows Wine to run this. So as you can see, it's starting up. Now I'm running this in windowed version at first to showcase that I really am running this through Wine on Ubuntu. So this is the Vulkan version I'm running. Thanks to ID software using Vulkan and OpenGL, we can run this. If this was using DirectX 11 or 12, it's likely that we would not be able to get this running at all. So before we get started into this video, there are several other videos already on YouTube if you want to check them out. We have Airspeed MPH's SteamOS video. We have Yaroslav's running it on OpenSUSE. And we have Boltronic running it on what I think is Ubuntu GNOME. So if you want to check those out, Definitely give it a go. It runs on more than one just type, one version of Linux. So that's a good proof that it is a functional port. Now, one thing that's a bit different about my video compared to these others is that at least I think all the others are running an original copy of Doom from Steam. I am not. Now, I do not condone piracy, but for the sake of experimenting, I went out and took the CPY cracked version of the game. I updated it to update 5, which is the update that removes the Nouveau, and then I applied the Bcrypt patch to Wine. So I've got this running here. On the right, it shows that it's on Vulkan. NVIDIA, it recognizes my card properly. It even knows what driver version I'm using, even though this is through Wine. That is amazing. So I'm going to campaign here. I'm going to hit. It looks like it still remembers my first test run. That's pretty cool. I'm going to go to new slot. This is running on Wine. 2.0 RC1 staging, all right? The reason why it's staging is if it's not staging, you'll only have access to OpenGL. I have not yet tested the OpenGL performance. I do not know how it compares to Vulkan, but I do know that Vulkan is absolutely amazing. So let's go to video. This first part of the video will be windowed mode because we're pushing this. Having it run in windowed mode, I have to render both the game and the UI of the Linux dive store that I'm using right now, which is Ubuntu, which is using Unity. So it's a, it's like a double task. It has to do two things at once. So I'm really pushing it here. It's only at 1600 by 900. Later in the video, I will jump to full screen at 1920 by 1080p. I do notice something though when I tested it first off. When I set VSync off, it will still switch it back on later on. So if I click on and then I click off again, usually, when I go into the game, it will unlock the FPS. So as you can see here, I've got Vulkan selected. Uh, it looks like it's gone and set the settings back to medium. I do remember reading that this does not work exactly as expected. It won't remember settings. So I'm gonna go ahead here and click Ultra. That sets everything to, I believe, maxed out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go back. Do you wanna keep these advanced settings? Yes, I do. So 1600 by 900, keyboard and mouse here, Vulcan. Let's start the campaign. Hurt me plenty is the setting I'm gonna go for. So I know that this is a cracked version. I am not going to be keeping this copy of the game around. It's only for experimental purposes. When the game does go on sale later on, I am very likely going to buy it considering, look at that, man. That's 160 FPS <laughs> using Vulcan. I have never seen frame rates that high when running a 3D modern game on wine it's always always below 90 frames per second that's insane we are in game right now rendering and it's over 100 frames per second let's see if it goes anywhere below that i bet though at 1080p we may see it go below 100 i am curious at ultra 1080p will it go below 100 or not still this is amazing man we got this running because it's vulcan I can't imagine us even being able to test this. Here we go, I'm in control, keyboard and mouse. Do I feel any sort of input lag? Looking at the frame times, it's really good. Seven milliseconds, five milliseconds. So it's only a change between about one to two milliseconds per frame. That's very good for input latency. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am still not too familiar with this game, so I may suck pretty bad. Let's get me some headshots. Looking good so far. All right, I have not yet done the host editing. Uh, there's, there's supposed to be a file where you edit the host so that it doesn't keep asking Bethesda for authentication for saving. I haven't done that yet. So this may crash during recording or it may hang. We shall see. Let's just push it and see how far I can go and how long I can go. Hopefully I've covered everything. This is wine to set to Windows XP. I also tried it with setting wine to windows vista just for the sake of fun and it does work as well 
So I'm moving around, no screen tearing, thanks to the NVIDIA forceful composition pipeline, which is beautiful. No screen tearing if I move left and right, look at that. No screen tearing at all, that is beautiful, even though I'm running it in windowed mode. We'll also give it a test later on when I jump into full screen. Look at that right there on the top right. You notice how it just locked back to 60 FPS. I notice every time there is a cinematic scene, the adaptive V-Sync, even though it says it's off, it's actually turned itself back on. So I'll have to go back into the settings after this, turn it on, then turn it back off and coming back into the game, it will be unlocked again. Still, this looks bloody amazing, man. Just to showcase, I really am in Ubuntu right now. Look at that. If I do Control alt tab I can go out and see that I've got Audacity for my recording, show desktop. I'm recording this using my Intensity Pro 4K, so this is the real-time performance that I'm getting on my hardware, unaffected by any sort of recording. All right, he's doing some sort of security system relay check. It does look pretty cool. I don't want to get too much into the game because I do want to buy it and enjoy it at full uh, through Steam with the achievements. I believe there's achievements for this game. I'm not sure. Once again, to reiterate, this is the CPY version with update 5. This is not the Steam version. Okay, I want to... Can I skip this? I don't think I can skip this. I'm still fresh to this game. I have not played Doom 2016 prior to this. For this game to work, you will need to compile Wine right now for yourself, which is a little bit difficult. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead right into settings right now. Clicking escape, going into settings. Uh, under adv not advanced under video i'm going to go ahead vsync on vsync off escape 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 did it unlock it yep there we go it unlocked so i have to do that every time otherwise it keeps locking itself at that 60 frames per second which is not a bad thing but i want to push this so this is at ultra setting at ultra settings 1600 by 900 windowed mode let's see can i go ahead and press f there we go may lead that son of a gun Mainly this guy as well. Are we seeing a drop anywhere below 100? I think I need to blow some stuff up after this. Hopefully when there's more units on the map, we will see if there's any deterioration in performance. It looks like they're not going to let me kill them with single shots. So far, so good. So far, so good. I still haven't done the host editing file yet. So if it does do an online asking thing for saving, it has to ask permission to save. Which is very odd, I find, in a single player game, why it has to do that, I do not know. So this is, this is really, really amazing. I'm really impressed that this works. Oh, take that sucker. This is actually a really good news for us in the future. If games get developed for Windows, but the developers, for whatever reason, choose to not develop for Linux, as long as they have a Vulkan or OpenGL renderer, we are in good hands. We will very likely be able to get this running in wine and look at this performance this is just i just it's uh, so amazing look at that i love it it's so good can't believe this look at that i'm running that full i really i really gotta test this in 1080p in a moment let's get that kills let's get those kills oh yes beautiful so i gotta gotta take this thing out look at that wow okay explosion now more units are on the scene i'm gonna blow that up still no drops Still no drops. Let's go to melee. Pop his head open. Ooh la la. I do not know how to switch ammo or switch weapons. Okay, I went to enter the main. This is the this is the map. I pressed tab. Do I see any errors or bugs here? No, I do not. Pressing tab again. I do not know how to switch weapons. Oh, I think it's Q. Yep, it's Q. Q. So I got pistol here. Look at that. Look at that, I'm still going full. Okay, you know what? Now I think it's time for me to go ahead and jump into 1080p full screen. I really want to see what that works, how that works. Let's go ahead and jump into 1080p then, shall we? All right, here we go. I have full screened the wine window. So it's 1920 by 1080p now. I just started up the game by double clicking it. Let's see if it crashes or not. This is my first test at full screening it at 1080p. I do not know if it's going to work or not. Sometimes we have bugs. It looks like I may have run into a bug here. I am not sure. This is a Doom console. All right, I've managed to get it to work into full screen, but now when it starts up, as you can see on the right, it seems to have jumped into OpenGL mode instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can switch back to Vulcan or if it crashes. So I'm running this at full screen, 1080p as we can see here. TSIA, ATX, going to go under advanced and I'm going to try and set OpenGL to Vulcan. So I click that, I'm going to set the quality overall to ultra. 
I'm gonna go back, click yes, let's see what happens. It's gonna restart the game. And is it okay or is it not okay? Let's find out then, shall we? If it crashes or pops up with a Doom console, then we know it's not okay. But if it pops up with the... Oh, okay, it went straight to the loading screen. Does it crash though? I did try this just now and it crashed shortly after this. Let's see. Let's see. So far, so good. It looks like I really did have to edit the uh, host file so that it will look towards the local host rather than try and contact the Bethesda servers. I'm gonna click game slot 2 again. Gonna go to settings. Alright, so that took a little bit longer than I expected, so I've cut out most of that part where I kept failing trying to get into full screen. <laughs> but it does work. So we're at video full screen, 1080p, TSSAA, ATX, advanced. Uh, it's at Vulcan, that's good. I'm gonna reset it to Ultra once again. I'm gonna go back, click yes. Alright. Go back to video once more. I'm gonna click vertical, on, then off. That should allow me to have an uncapped frame rate once I get into the game. Loading is pretty fast. I'm not sure if you can see it's on the top right there, the loading icon. All right. Looks like I'm in. Vulcan full screen, 1080p. Let me continue the game. Let's see how far we can get before it... Cr Let's see if it crashes or not. I also am interested to see the performance. So far so good. I am not sure what that did. I am really not sure what that did. Can I pick that up? Looking out there, 200 frames per second. Looking back inside here, we're seeing about 140 frames per second. Can I shoot that down? Nope, didn't think so. So far pretty smooth. Moving forward. Alright! Okay, it looks like things have become smooth again. I just had to edit the ETC hosts file as per the instructions on GitHub. Otherwise, it'd keep hanging. Bam! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so this is on Wine 64 bit in case I failed to mention that, but it does have 32 bit functionality as well. Don't know if I can make that jump. Can I make that jump? Oh, I can make it. Nice. So, what is this? Ooh, I can modify the gun. Explosive shot purchase. <laughs> That's not purchasing. I'm just robbing the machine. <laughs> Still 150 frames per second. Doesn't seem to be going down to 90, unlike when we were indoors. I hear a lot of angry monsters. Blow this guy up. Blow this guy up. Blow that guy up. See if I can get him from behind. Oh, ho, ho. all right. Lots of enemies in the scene, which is pretty good. 150, 140 frames per second. This is on Vulcan. Interestingly enough, when we switched to OpenGL just now, it did that automatically. I didn't select that at the beginning. When it did that, it's still keeping at 60. So I do wonder if I benchmark this, what am I going to get? <laughs> wow, this runs amazing! Despite the few buggy crashes I had just now when I tried to load it into full screen, so far, once you do get it in, it doesn't seem to crash. Do Where do I want to go? I do not know. Vulcan looks like all the details are correct. Wow! Seriously, I'm expecting this to go to like slow down or break or anything like that. I keep looking at the frame rate up the top to see if it's gonna go down and it doesn't go down. This is amazing. Wow, look at that graphics detail. Got myself a little Doom plushie. Ooh la la. Even going through all this open world part of the map, everything still seems to perform really well. Looks like I was already there before. Can I climb this? This game has parkour in it. I was not expecting that in a Doom game. Really hate those guys. Really annoying. Looks like that's some health. I think if I jump down there, I'd probably die. Let's see what happens then, shall we? 
<laughs> I got gibbed. Insta gibbed. So I can load from checkpoint or I can exit to main menu. I am just going to test one more thing and that is I'm going to switch to OpenGL and run a little bit. I just want to see what happens. It might crash, it might not. I just want to see what happens. So I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to video. Oh, not video, sorry. Advanced. And say it to OpenGL. I'm going to go back, click apply. It's going to close the game. Let's see if it can restart properly or not. If it crashes, this is where I'll end the video. If it does not, I will further... I will play a little further just to see what we get. I think it may just have crashed or closed altogether without running. Let's open the system monitor and take a real quick look. Is it anywhere here? It is not here. So yeah, it looks like it did crash. So that's it. I'm going to end the video right here. It runs very well in Vulkan, but when I try to use OpenGL mode, starting up in it crashes a lot. Uh, running through the match crashes a lot, but performance did seem to be rather high for the few moments that I got to try it. So I am using wine staging here, just in case you're wondering what I'm using. 2.0 RC1. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I've tested it as far as I can. That's it for this gameplay video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you for watching.